Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Activity 8, and uh, we're going to um, get into the um, uh, lab this this week, and um, our first true lab, and we're going to be working of course with uh, this uh, right here, our SunFounder Elite Explorer Kit, yay, and um, we'll, we'll unpack this. Uh, and um, start to get uh, get this moving uh, along. So one of the things uh, that we're going to do first is we're going to um, jump over. I'm going to move this. Uh, oops, oh, that's not going to work. Um, uh, let's see. I am uh, going to. We're going to actually pull up a browser. And a browser. Let's get this browser going. All right. And then we'll move this off. Nope, not you. Jeez, did that again. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking to do. Okay, so we're trying to navigate multiple screens here. There we go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to get a browser open. We're going to um, go to Arduino. We're going to type in Arduino IDE, and we're going to come in here. We're going to do this, and um, we're going to do a download. I'm using Windows, uh, so I'm going to do uh, Windows 10 and newer. Uh, and if you want to contribute, great. I'm just going to download. Um, and so I'm going to put my email address. Everyone here has it. I can confirm and confirm. And uh, you can you can do this: subscribe and download. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe and download. You don't have to. You can just download, uh, and that's that's okay. So once that happens, you're going to get this. Um, yeah, you're going to get this going, and then we're going to open the file, and then I'm going to say. Uh, agree uh, and, and for me I'm just gonna say anyone who uses this computer I'm gonna make it easier uh, you want to follow this uh, and then I th so this one um, oh it might give me a so we have a uh, let me see here I'm gonna actually back out I wonder if I can do it this way yeah I'm gonna so because I was on the admin that's not gonna work um, so that's, uh, I guess I'll just have to switch over to this. No problem. We'll just do an install just for my my uh, my account. And um, if, the, if you're installing on a work machine, that's what's happening here. So I tried to install it for anyone which required an admin uh, account, which I don't have. So that's what's going on. Okay, so um, we're going to let that go here. And then um, as soon as this gets installed should be good to go and be able to hit next all right so once that installation is done you'll have this completing arduino ide setup uh, i'm going to go ahead and run the arduino ide i'm going to click finish and then um, i'm going to go ahead and close my browser we don't need the browser on anymore Get this fitted to my window environment here. Um, so uh, that's fine. Let's see. Oh no. Uh, I guess we have to say no to the firewall. Say cancel. Uh, do you want to allow specific? Say cancel. So we're not allowing any external. It's going to do a config. You can run through here and do an update uh, and then make sure I guess it's checking our environment okay cool so this is our environment we're all good to go um, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this uh, make this a little easier to read okay all right now the we got that taken care of uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to install um, we need to go to the board manager to let the let let uh, so, so that the IDE is familiar with what board and the board knows what IDE we're working with. So um, we're going to go install um, the board package. Um, so we're going to go to board manager 
and then um, and then we're gonna search for the Uno R4 Wi-Fi um, and, and install the latest version that we're gonna be using, and that should get us going. Um, so that's gonna be uh, should be all right. It's gonna be under Tools Board Boards Manager. And then um, under this board manager here, um, you're going to uh, do a search, pretty straightforward. <coughs> you're going to look for the UNO and uh, the UNO R4 down here. And so this one is going to, it should get take us take care of us. There's different versions. We're just going to be using 1.2.2. I think the latest there is fine. Uh, but this works for Arduino UNO, Uno the R4 Minima as well as the R4 Wi-Fi. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and install that. Let it do its thing. And it'll start to, it'll pull up the console here and start to install everything we need. Okay, so that should, once it gets to the end, you should be, uh, uh, down here it should say configuring platform, platform Arduino, um, Renesis, uh, and I believe that will be it on that. So we we can actually, I'm going to move this off to the side here. Uh, I'll bring it back because um, we're now going to um, switch over um, to, where's my, um, nope, that's the IDE. I want to switch over to um, bring this in. To the picture because I want to be able to record uh, yeah this part okay I'll just make sure I've got this let's see if I can get this a little bit larger <coughs> and I'll put the ID behind it that way we got and kind of get a feel for both of these maybe at the same time um, that's perfect all right okay so um, over here, I'm going to go ahead and move my keyboard out of the way just for a little bit. And then um, on this, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to open this up. And then um, we've got all of our fun stuff. We've got a uh, infrared remote. We've got a breadboard. We've got a keypad. We've got all the fun stuff. We've got servos, LEDs. we got uh, uh, a little fan, a uh, ribbon cable for the, uh, that's for the, um, uh, that's actually for the pad. So everything that you, you, you um, all the extras, we will be using some of this, um, especially the breadboard for uh, this guy right here. This is our breadboard. Um, and resistors, um, uh, lots and lots of resistors. Um, so, <laughs> and then um, we've got a display, which we're going to be, I think we're going to be getting this thing going to this week. We're going to be using this. Um, and then we got a lot of other things here. Um, we got motors, we got stepper. Is that a stepper motor? You can tell if it's a stepper motor based on the way that it, it turns. Um, I think we got a regular motor in here somewhere too. Um, and then up, and we have a moisture sensor. Um, that's what this one is. Uh, and let's see, we've got, uh, uh, got a lot of other little trinkets in here. I think the TFT display is in here somewhere too. I remember seeing the, we'll be using the TFT display as well. Uh, a lot of jumper cables, that's what all these are here. Um, that's what, um, it, this is very similar to the what we have with the other one, but um, I'm sorry, we, we didn't quite have as much with the other one because we had a TFT gizmo hat that sat on top of the Arduino. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Adafruit uh, controller that we use, not the Arduino. Um, but this one is a full-on kit, so we have quite a few things. We got a lot of jumper cables that allows us to connect to the breadboard, um, and uh, we do have a, a, an OLED o -O -L -E -D, um, um, display as part of this kit. So I, I am seeing that. But what I want you to do is um, we're going to pull this out. This is um, what we're looking for, is this this one right here. It should be buried on the bottom of uh, your tray, Should it, just under your tray when you pull it out. So go ahead and pull that out. Um, and I'm gonna keep the box just because it's a good protective. I'm not gonna toss anything here. Um, what I really appreciate about this is it's got uh, um, a plastic sleeve here. 
um, under it, and that's that's really nice. Um, and uh, and we can leave it in there. Um, it it is removable from that, um, but we don't need the. I mean, you can you can just kind of um, put you know a little pressure, but we don't have to do that for what we're looking to do. Um, this is perfect. This is all we need. We can just leave it in here. Uh, so this is. This is all that we're, this is our, our R4 Uno, um, and then we've got our little LEDs right here, uh, and our GPIO connectors will be using to connect up uh, all of our LEDs to our breadboard and we'll, all of our other fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pack this back up, and let me go ahead and pause while I get this all packed back up. Okay, so we got that. I'm just going to, um, we can just do this. I'm going to put this off to the side. All right. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. Um, this is our, um, this is our Uno R4 Wi-Fi. Um, and we're going to take this, going to connect it up to the USB-C, and then uh, this will be our first lab, and then we're going to get it, get it, uh, we're going to get it lit up and working. Okay. So let's pause again. I'm going to pause and I'm going to get my keyboard back and then we'll we'll reconnect. All right. So let's uh, so to to do this for um, to get our lab going and test out to make sure our IDE is working. Um, a couple of things. I'm going to um, I'm going to do this real time and then I'm going to try to get it to where it's I've got some focus here. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to connect this up. I really like the the plastic on this. It does make you know it does make working with this a, a lot easier. Um, so um, so I especially when I want to disconnect my USB C. So you 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 should have a USB C cable, um, data enabled of course, um, thick enough has a high enough gauge and, and can transfer um, can of course power, but then also data. Um, and so I've got a USB-C, I'm going to hook it up here, and then what you should do is, uh, this is what you should see happen. So when I connect up, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a power light, and then it's going to, it's going to play a little Tetris sequence. Um, once it plays that, and then it gives you a little heart, so I'm just going to kind of, to make it a little easier to kind of see the LED, um, there you can kind of see what the LED does because um, I've got this bright light in the office. But um, there's a button right here. Um, so this button, let's see if I got... Okay, so um, that button right there, that is a little white button. If you've got a blinky and it does, they've got this <laughs> blinky. If this is blinking and it, then you're in good shape, you've got a green light over here. This uh, green light right there. Okay, and then um, I'm going to, uh, just to kind of redo the sequence, um, so I'm going to re-hit this button, this button right here. I'm going to run it again, and you should, it should go through and play the, the sequence again. And you can keep hitting it, and it's just going to rerun the program. So I'm going to try to, it's just, you, there you go, you can kind of, here, through my fingers, there you go. You can kind of, if I hit there, you can see the LED. It should light up like that, give you a nice, and then there you go. A little heartbeat, and then it's working and all set. It shows up real good on my end, so that's, that's you're in good shape. Um, so, okay. Um, now, uh, from, um, I'm wondering if, you know, this is the easier, oh, yeah. I, I'll do it one more time like this, and then uh, run it. And then there you go. Okay, so button, uh, and if it's doing this, you're in good shape. Okay, I've, I've killed that. <laughs> so I'm going to put this off to the right here. I'm just going to have this sitting um, kind of just right here. And um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to minimize this uh, just a little. Put this off to the side. And then I wonder if I can do... Something like that. That way I can kind of have this off to the... There. We'll get this figured out. Um, okay. That, that'll work for what we need. Okay, so I've got, I've got this working so I can, I can 
you know, bring this up and you can kind of see this on the side and it's still working, I'm still connected. Um, now, over here on our IDE, once we've connected and powered up, um, the Arduino IDE, we can actually, should be able to select the Arduino. I'm on COM12, yours might be different. Um, so mine is working off of COM12. We're now able to select the board because the IDE is recognizing that, uh, that we are connected to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, and we are good to go. Um, so we've successfully installed the IDE. Um, we've been successfully connected um, our Arduino, and we've confirmed that um, we're going to confirm here. We're going to run a little program, and that's actually going to um, finish us up for our first lab. So um, what we're going to do... Okay, so let's... let's do a test. Um, we are running this with a predefined program that's that's out of the box um, that runs this um, this um, for us uh, just as a good test, which is fine for what we need to do. It works, you know. But let let's let's run through a process. We're going to build a very simple um, application, um, and uh, I'm actually. Uh, gonna, I'm going to use one that's pre-canned so you don't watch me type it out we'll, the, the whole time. We'll, we'll, there's going to be plenty of time for that. Um, but I'm going to actually have you go over to uh, a very specific place. Um, and uh, it's, the, it's an LED matrix. We're just going to do a test to see, make this LED matrix uh, work for us. Uh, and the best way to do that is I'm going to pull up a a tab here and uh, uh, we're just gonna Google and uh, let's do this move this in over here and um, and th again we're just we're just gonna copy and paste because this is just a test um, so I'm gonna do um, uno r4 um, Let's do the um, LED matrix, which I think was on there. And then the Wi-Fi LED matrix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was doing a test earlier just to make sure that this worked. So this is, you can run through this software. It's a little buggy up front. The, some of this stuff doesn't work too well. Um, but what, what I want you to do is you'll, you'll go to this, uh, and then we're going to do... Um, we're gonna do this, this one right here. We're gonna test it out here. Um, we're gonna create uh, an H file. We're gonna pull in this library. We'll do a void setup. Uh, and then, uh, and, and again, we're just testing it. I'm gonna run through, we'll do a little bit more of a deeper dive into like, well, what am I even looking at, right? What would this, this simplified C that we're looking at? I will, we'll go through a, um, 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 as we move along, I'll, I'll run through and explain like what's the difference between a void setup and a void loop. And then what's this thing at the top with a hashtag on it that is that a, a comment? You know, stuff like that. We'll go through and, and we'll talk through that. Um, I just want you to just, uh, just kind of follow along because all we're doing is a hardware check. Um, so go ahead and copy. You can just copy this right here. I'm going to move this off to the side. Uh, make sure, bring this back into camera view, uh, and make sure you can see this, uh, and uh, see if I can't get, get it to focus here. There we go. There, that's not too bad. Um, so what we're going to do, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so you can see that now that we've copied, I'm going to paste uh, on, on my screen, I'm going to do uh, a paste uh, and, and bring that in. And then to test the board out, you're going to say Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. You're going to make sure you're connected to it. Um, you can do this one of two ways. You can go to the sketch itself, do a verify control R, um, and then we're going to do a control U. Or um, since I'm kind of doing it this way right now, I'm going to do a, a, a verify. And um, you're going to have this output down here. It's going to compile the sketch. And then I'm going to um, global variables um, using 20% of program storage space. So it's a tiny program. Um, and then um, 
uh, global variables, 20% uh, of dynamic space. So this is just giving you uh, um, kind of a, uh, a status as to what this looks like. Before we upload the program, now we're going to upload the program. And then what this is going to do, it's actually, I'm going to flip it here to see if we can... You should see that now. You should see, you should see it alternating. Um, whoop. There, you should see it doing an alternation between a happy face and a heart. Uh, and it uploaded, did it in three and a half seconds, and it's working just fine. So um, it is, in fact, doing exactly what we want it to do, which is good. Um, and um, it's a good test, so we're in good shape here. So that is all we, uh, that's, that's it. We're um, going to put this over here. Um, yeah, uh, so that, that's our first lab, getting it going. If you have any trouble with it, it should work out of the box. If you have any issues with any of this, it, you know, check, you know, a couple things you can do. Check to make sure your cable's good, because um, that could be a problem. Um, and then um, also um, make sure that the way that you're connected on the other side of it to the computer is working okay as well. Um, and that you got a good connection over there. Another thing is make sure you got power um, and that you've got uh, good power running to, to the board. Because um, if things don't light up, then of course that's a power issue and, and it's back to the cable not working. But this is pretty hardy equipment. It should work pretty much out of the box. Um, but if you run into any issues, let me know. I don't think you run into any, but of course if you do, um, reach out and we can see if we can't debug it. Um, that's all we've got for this lab. Um, we've got one more lab up for this week, and um, we're going to actually uh, pull, um, we're going to put together a uh, up next for the next lab. We're, we're going to create uh, another program. I'm going to go into two parts of that lab, a little bit more of a um, simplified C Arduino programming language overview, and all the different kind of components of, of the major components of, of what the programming language looks like. And then, um, and then from there, um, we're going to go and jump into wiring the board up, programming uh, an, um, uh, an LED display um, for Hello World. And I think that'll be, that'll be nice because we're going to actually use, break the breadboard out. We'll do some jumpers, we'll connect to the GPIO, and then we'll connect a, a display to it, and then we'll, we'll get the display working. And so um, that'll be a fun project where we're... Just, just again, get, get more familiarity with what, what equipment and, and parts we have to work with. So that's all I've got for now, and we'll see you in the next lab.